fish fins are not stiff. I mean, they're not rigid fins. There is that flexibility in the fins and it allows them to swim efficiently. And so we're seeing that in the experiments and the, the kind of work that we're doing. We have, we're looking at different uh, artificial fins that we put into a robotic apparatus that allows us to do pitching and heaving motion. There's too many confounding factors for working with live fish. And so what we want to do is um, just look solely at stiffness, how stiffness affects locomotion. We're looking at the structure side of this. We're looking at the structural response of the fin. So we're basically taking these artificial fins. We're using digital image correlation, which is the, another way of digitally tracking uh, the surface of a structure. So we speckle our fins. And using the digital cameras, we can track where these speckles are going, essentially. So if you know where the speckles on the fin are moving, then you can extrapolate the, the displacements and the corresponding strains. And we can use the digital image correlation to look at how the structure is responding to the fluid and we can measure the thrust using a, a six-axis uh, force and uh, moment transducer. Ultimately, it would be nice if we created a vehicle that had the maneuverability of a fish and was able to um, maneuver in tight places, hover efficiently, quickly brake, and accelerate quickly. I mean, all these traits that we see in fish, we would like to have in an underwater vehicle.